Hi, Paul Kelly family. I miss you guys so much. It's me, Miss Tippett, but now my name is Mrs. Van Matry because I got married to Mr. John this summer. Miss Candy and I wanted to put together a little video so I could read to all of my previous students and all of the Paul Kelly family during reading week. I miss you guys and I love you so much. I hope you enjoy the book. I waited so long for the hours to pass, but soon it was noon there in Mrs. Krupp's class. And Thursday at noon, as I'm sure you know well, is the time of the week when we do show and tell. And this week, the subject, so special to me, was when I grow up, what am I gonna be? That's something I'd really been thinking about, and I just couldn't wait to let those thoughts out. So when Mrs. Krupp said, who's ready to share? You can guess who was there with his hand in the air. I raised both my hands just as high as they'd go and I bounced up and down and then what do you know? Well, Mrs. Krupp picked me, yes me, to go first. Oh, I was happy, so happy I thought I could burst. I proudly stood up and began my oration concerning my choice for a future vocation. <clears throat> Esteemed friends and colleagues and dear Mrs. Krupp, I know what I'm gonna be when I grow up. Why, I'll be the greatest chef you've ever seen. The world will go crazy for my hot cuisine. I'll tantalize taste buds with my rigatoni, sauteed with black truffles and pickled bologna. Surrounded by kumquats and candied pig's feet, topped with shrimp flavored lollipops, bon appetit. My walls will be filled with awards that I've gotten for toast on a stick and my Twinkies all gratin. My kitchen will be the most famous in France, so make reservations 12 years in advance. There's no doubt about it, I'm certain you see, a world-renowned chef is what I'm gonna be. That's very nice, Billy, sweet Mrs. Krupp said. Who wants to be next, maybe Susie or Fred? I said, hold the phone now, I haven't departed. Hang on to your seats, cause I'm just getting started. See, maybe instead I could be a snail trainer. Man, that would be awesome, why that's a no brainer. I'll teach all my snails to do really neat tricks. They'll play dead, roll over, and even fetch sticks. Of course, all the sticks will come back two years later. But working with snails, I mean that, what would be greater? They'll do any stunt that I like, holy moly! I'll train them to pedal a bike really slowly, then jump, I mean ooze, through a, ring, a huge ring of fire and crawl at a snail's pace across a high wire, then finish by writing my name with their trails. That's right, I'll be Billy, the master of snails. Or else maybe I'll be the lathe operator who makes the hydraulic torque wrench calibrator, which fine tunes the wrench that's specifically made to retighten the nuts on the lateral blade that's directly beneath the main radial sockets inside cooling systems on X-14 rockets. And since this profession's as cool as can be, well, who would be better to do it than me? Say, here's an idea. Perhaps just for laughs, I might make my living by milking giraffes. It's oh so cliche to get milk from a cow. And I bet all those cows need a break anyhow. Imagine me milking way up in the air. I'd use a tall ladder instead of a chair. What? Milking giraffes? Mrs. Krupp said. Oh, please. I countered. How else would, could we make giraffe cheese? Now don't interrupt me, I'm not really through yet. There's still lots of stuff that I'm planning to do yet. Cause maybe I'll be a gorilla masseuse. Or an artist who sculpts out of chocolate mousse. Or a rodeo clown or a movie director. Or maybe professional pickle inspector. Or big sumo wrestler or hedge fund investor. Or smelly pit sniffing deodorant tester. Or I'll be an expert on nuclear fission, or else a foot model, or friendly mortician, or waiter, or skater, or master debater, or dinosaur dusting museum curator, or TV repairman, or sidewalk sign waver, or part-time assistant tarantula shaver. And that's about when Mrs. Krupp said, 
Now, Billy, please make up your mind. This is getting quite silly. Which one of those things are you going to choose? I shuffled around and looked at my shoes. And finally I said, my great-grandfather Bob's been a whole lot of things, had a whole bunch of jobs, a butcher, a barber, a bellman, a bouncer, a telephone psychic, and bingo announcer. You know what? He just turned a hunt. He just turned 103, and he's still not quite sure what he wants to be. See, I'm only eight now, so frankly, I'm hoping you'll cut me some slack if I leave options open. Let's just wait and find out what my future brings. Hey, I might have time to do all of those things. And then the bell rang, and we all went to lunch. And as I was sipping my pineapple punch, I pondered professions that I'd like to enter, like brave firefighter or crazy inventor. Or maybe, just maybe now, when I grow up, I can be a great teacher like dear Mrs. Krupp. I hope you enjoyed the book. There's two reasons why I absolutely love this story. One is because in my first year at Paul Cully, I won this book during reading week at a competition. And the second reason I love it is because of the message. It's wonderful to dream and explore all of the professions you can be, but remember, it's just as important to be a kid and enjoy reading.